Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's see how temp data works in ASP.NET Core 6. I have a form here and I'm asking for user's name. Let's put net explained here and submit. In another page, I showed um, how many characters uh, are in that name and that's my application. In the background, I am using temp data to pass information from one page to another page. Temp data is temporary and once you read the information from any key, it will be removed. And temp data uses cookies to save data between HTTP sessions. Let's add some breakpoints to follow what's happening in the background and run the project in debug mode. I have a name here and submit. At this point, we have the information that we are going to pass and we have set the temp data information. And now let's go to browser and use web developer extension. And here I can see all the cookies inside my website and Right now, we only have anti forgery cookie, which is not we are looking for. So let's go back to the project and continue. And now, if I check the cookies again, uh, you can see there is a cookie temp data provider and the message that I have saved is in here. It's encrypted, so I cannot read it directly, but it's here. And when I continue, I can see the message in my report page, but that means we no longer have temp data available. If I go back to web developer uh, view information, you can see that that cookie uh, has been disappeared already and uh, we have uh, lost the temporary data. So temp data only keeps information between two sessions and if you want to uh, keep it for longer for more sessions uh, of course there are other ways like using sessions itself using cookies or saving data inside a database or file anything about temp data but it's a very good design decision because you don't want to uh, keep passing around uh, data in cookies for a long time and you should really be careful with how you use cookies and keep minimum data inside them. Thanks for watching and see you soon.